Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another house building video. We haven't had one of these in a while actually. Um, what was the last house? Well, the last house I built was the one just before I went away to the UK and then I posted it when I got back. Uh, but anyways, here we are again, back at it. This time we are building on one of the, uh, well, one of the newest lots that were added to the island in version 0.4. This is uh, the lot called Nate Bay, if you hadn't already guessed by the title. That is lot number 65. It was on this super steep cliff right by the water. And I was like, you know what? That seems pretty interesting. It's quite a bit of a challenge to try and build a house there. So let's go ahead and give it a fair crack of the whip. And that's what I'm doing here. So I'm just getting the basic shape started up. I was like, I'm definitely going to want a car parking space, so let's get that in straight away. And now I'm just trying to figure out the house. I, I've already decided by this point that I want it to sort of hang out over the edge of the cliff uh, as best as I can. You know, like sort of, it, it's not going to go out too far just because of the fact that I, I wanted to build stuff below the house as well. Uh, anyways, right now what I'm doing is getting the right height for a, a second level underneath the house. And I actually did a tutorial on this. I believe it's called, like there's a tutorial on building on cliff lots that I did. And then there's one after that, that is following up and showing you how to do this kind of stuff as well. I think it's two different ones or it's the same video. I don't know. Either way, I did a tutorial on cliff lots if you're wondering how to do stuff like this. And it'll basically show you how and why I was doing using the stairs to get the height and all of that. And that should sort of inform you there. Uh, so I'm just building the lower level now, which will contain most of the, the bedrooms in the house, uh, except for the sort of master bedroom, which goes on the top floor. And of course it does, because that's the master bedroom. They get a whole level of the house to themselves. It's quite a uh, quite a long house, because it's, 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 it's an interesting lot, because it's, um, I think the lot size is 40 by 30, so it's 40 wide and 30 long, but of course the house is all on a steep cliff, and then when it is flat, it's the ocean, and there's not that much ocean that the lot, that's actually within the lot, so it's definitely interesting. If you, ever, if you ever wanted to challenge yourself on building on a certain type of terrain, this is one to give it a go, because it is, it is quite a challenge, um, and it's a, it is a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm just creating sort of an, like, a like a level in between the two levels. Uh, so it sort of looks like there's a strong um, sort of uh, structural element to the house that is actually holding it out over the cliff because otherwise it might look like it just fall over. Uh, so I gave it that sort of that thickness there in the middle. Um, and now we're just building the top level. I, was, I wasn't going to build this level here, but I thought, you know what, let's smack that right on the top. And uh, just go for the third level, just because it gives that a little bit more detail. Uh, the thing I like about this lot, from the front, or from this side that we're on now, it looks fairly sort of, I don't know, fairly just regular. It just looks like a house, nothing too special about it. But then when you go around the back, boom, you get the mullet out the back, uh, which is one of my favorite uh, <laughs> terms to describe a house built on a cliff. It is definitely mullet inspired um, in the terms of it's nice and short and cropped in the front. And it's long and partying in the back. Oh, yeah. Because this is actually pretty cool. I, I built, um, what I'm doing right now is building a little boathouse, actually. Uh, so, like, on the lower level that I'm chucking in now is where you sort of drive your boat in and you park it in there. And uh, and then just above it, on the level above is, like, sort of a, a little gym slash games room. And then there's a pool and a sort of an outdoor deck area to sit down and enjoy the sun in a lunar island. It's pretty cool. You'll you obviously see it develop. Or you can check out the screenshots right now. I've already uploaded the house to my website and to the exchange with all the screenshots that you can see there in case you want to spoil the fun. But that's up to you. Um, but, yeah, if you, again, if you hadn't already noticed, there's, this video is going to be in two parts because it's about an hour long. So I didn't want to smack that all into one video just because that is a long time to sit down and watch a house building video. Um, and also, it's a long time for me to sit down and record. I, I, I want to record in two parts just because it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so that, that video will be coming up tomorrow, uh, probably along with a spore video tomorrow. So there'll probably be two videos tomorrow, so get excited for that. Uh, and this is where I realized I hadn't made the, the boathouse big enough, so <laughs> I had to extend it back a little bit. Um, and if I recall correctly, the house ends up being about $380,000, so it's not exactly a cheap starter home in the world. I need to start doing some more uh, mid 
and sort of low range houses in this world because I mean I did one obviously the last one I did was sort of like a, a middle class family home a startup family home like not literally a starter but you know what I mean and then the one before I th- well one of them before that oh no the one before that was a lighthouse which is awesome but again is not a <laughs> it's not a, a cheap home uh, and then there, there I did do one starter fairly basic nothing too special about that so I'll probably do another couple of starters uh, next up so they'll be pretty short speed builds. Um, but those will be coming up, uh, in the near future. Cause again, I do want to get this build done before the Sims 4, or not this build, the, the island done before the Sims 4. And there's not a lot of time until that happens, is there? Because where are we now? We're in July and it comes out in September. So just over, what, like two months? Is that correct? Yeah. No, oh, it's just under two months. I think it's just under two months. Oh dear. Yeah. Just under two months. Okay. I got to get cracking on these house builds. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll try and get some more of these done because I really need to. I need to work out how many I actually have done and then how many there are to go. Um, and I'll work on, I think I'll work on the base game versions of these houses after I've done all of them. I don't know because doing the base game versions actually does take quite a lot of time as well because I've got to go through the house, make sure everything looks right, make sure it all works. <sighs> Anyways, uh, so I'm just doing some stairs. I, obviously, I did the stairs coming down from the back of the house there. So those are the ones that lead straight to the house. And then I was going to do stairs on the side next to the sort of driveway area, but I gave up on that. Uh, but I do go back to it and uh, you'll, you will see in the screenshots if you check those out that I, I managed to get the stairs in. I think it looks pretty cool in the end. Uh, so we've managed to just get the pool in there. Uh, and one thing that's kind of interesting about this house, because you see the level I'm building on now is actually, the, well, the, the that level there that we're on now is the same, the way it works between the house up the top, like when you're on... This level, it's sort of like the second level on the house, I think it is. Uh, so it's, it's kind of weird how it works when you're playing in this. Uh, adding a nice little trellis over the pool just to create... It always creates some really nice shadows when you use that sort of... Uh, the, the flower fence boarding, um, or whatever you call it. Like a little flower fence, yeah. Uh, around, like over stuff. It just looks nice. Uh, yeah, so I did that sort of infinity pool style thing. I did put a fence around. I guess I didn't have to put a fence, but, you know, safety first. You don't want kids flopping over into the ocean. Uh, it's pretty shallow water there. I guess at high tide it would be right if they flopped into the ocean. But, you know, you don't want them just falling out. Um, and then I, I put in some... I was going to put in windows into the pool. And I was like, you know, what would be even cooler? Because I, uh, when I was doing the build with Delhi and we were like, I was joking about, oh, you should put a fish tank looking through his house. I was like... That's a really, that is a really cool item, but you can never really use the fish tank window because it's just like, when would you use that? And I was like, I don't know, let's use it on the pool for pool windows. Yes, it worked out beautifully. Uh, anyways, just doing a nice little flat roof design on this sort of uh, boathouse there, making it look quite nice and detailed. Um, sort of just playing around with designs and all that. Now this, this build, I think, took... Uh, was it about four and a half hours? Uh, well, not just the build. That was build and furnishing. The build was about two hours. That's usually where I, I sit for houses of this size, about two hour build time. And then however long it takes me to furnish. And I'll tell you what, I built this uh, about a week ago. I built the house a week ago. And then since then, every day I've been doing like, yep, yeah, five minutes building. Okay, break till tomorrow. Five minutes building, break till tomorrow. I don't know. I just couldn't get motivated to furnish this thing. And uh I did it in the end, obviously. I've done it now. Um, and I got it done. And it didn't take that long. It's just, I don't know, just wasn't in the mood for furnishing. It's not my not my cup of tea, unfortunately. I wish it was, because that means I could do houses way more often. Because I, I love to build the houses, but then I just don't furnish them. Uh, anyways, choosing the colors of the house. The white was actually just going to be... Originally, it was the white was just going to be like a uh, sort of a base coat. And then I was going to put all these different colors... or not all these different colors, but, you know, I was going to replace it with another color. But then I ended up just leaving it because I thought the wood texture that I'm using now, the wooden planks and the white worked really nice together. And so it kind of comes out with this, I don't know, it's got this like sort of Greek kind of vibe to it. Greek island house vibe. I don't know. Only only because of the colors. That, that's where the, the similarities end between those two. <laughs> um, anyways, I really like the white. It just looked nice and clean and uh, contrasted with the, uh, the natural woods. And then I covered the lot in... Um, uh, sort of shrubs and bushes and, and palm trees and all that. And it just looks really, really nice in the end. So I was, I was really happy with how it turned out. And so I thought the colors looked fine. I just didn't change it in the end. 
Uh, originally, uh, I was going to just do the stairs like that. Then I changed the stairs to the concrete stairs instead of the wooden ones. And I've also, what I'm doing now is adjusting the landscape. Uh, no, I'm not actually. I think I'll do that in a minute. Um, I lied. But I will adjust the landscape underneath the stairs because I use half walls as the railings. So it gives it a more solid kind of look. And I think it looks really cool. Um, I don't know when I actually do that. Oh, here we go. That's where I'm like, hang on, that'd be a great idea. So let's do that. Yeah, there we go. So I've just got to adjust the sort of uh, the terrain a little bit. So when I drag in the stairs, you'll see that the terrain exactly follows the stairs. So that means I can put uh, the uh, the walls, the half walls on there without it looking stupid, which you'll see now. There they go. And I do actually break them up with some railings, but it just gives it, yeah, just gives it a much more solid kind of feel and like it's actually built in there to last and isn't just some rickety wooden steps that you'd think would rot away in a day. Uh, so yeah, that's always a good thing, I guess, <laughs> getting something in there that would last. Uh, so yeah, I've just decided to break it up with those sort of uh, black metal railings, which I think again, look really nice and they go with it quite well. And uh, that all works out quite nicely. Uh, one thing I didn't realize until way later down the line is I wasn't able to put where where the uh, the wooden deck down the bottom there is now. I wouldn't be able to put any steps coming off it because if you see the wooden planks uh, going across the top of the screen now, uh, uh, that level and where the deck is are the same level of the house. So putting the stairs there, the game thought, hang on, what's going on here? We're on the same level. So the stairs can't possibly go there. So the game was getting confused. So I actually had to make the deck a little bit smaller to be able to fit stairs into it, uh, which was interesting. Now, I originally had the stairs like this going down to the bottom, but I thought that looked stupid because you had this giant sort of white wall coming down there. Um, and I was like, I guess we can deal with it at first. And I was like, hang on. When I, when I tried to put the stairs in, I accidentally did them sideways like that. And I was like, hang on, this is a much better solution. Have them sort of snake down the, uh, the cliff edge. Uh, it just looks much nicer and it's it just makes more sense uh, instead of smashing straight down the side and making that big white wall look kind of ridiculous. So it just worked out a little bit better that way and I was keen for that. Um, so I'm just working on those stairs now. Uh, lots of uh, terrain editing obviously to get this house to fit nicely on the cliff. There it goes. Nice one. Good stuff. Good show. Good show. Um, yeah, so I'm just adjusting on the cliff now and moving on with that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so this this entire video, uh, this part one is all building. Furnishing will be next episode. Um, and here comes the little railing all the way down. The half wall, that is. Uh, and all these stairs work properly in the game. I, I made sure to test the stairs uh, before uh, I uploaded the house and all that because I didn't want you to jump in game and be like, hang on, these stairs don't work. Because originally these ones on the side I just built didn't actually work, but it was only because um, cause I had I, I changed the parking space up there to t fit two cars and the second car blocked where the stairs came up so you couldn't get out. So the Sims never used it, but I fixed that. So we're good. Uh, and I just put a, a sort of boat in there. There come the uh, fish, uh, fish tank windows, which I thought were kind of cool. I don't know, it was just interesting. Kind of tropical. I thought it was like, yeah, you know what, that's kind of cool. Let's use those. Uh, just doing little columns on the side there so it looks like the, the trellis has some support. Uh, and I realized I didn't leave any space whatsoever for stairs uh, going up into the boathouse. So I had, to, I had to chuck them on the outside. I was, yeah, I was going to have the stairs on the inside, but it just, there's no room, obviously. So <laughs> I had to put them out here. So I put a, a door on the side there. Uh, actually, I don't think, I think I was just putting the door on the side there at first because it, you'd be able to go out to the beach. And I think I, at this point, I still intended to put the stairs inside, but I hadn't realized they don't fit. And here's where it became a big choice. I had to choose what color I wanted the doors and windows of this build. And that doesn't stay at all. That changes completely. So <laughs> it changes. It's pretty much the outside is very much a clean sort of vibe. It's white, it's basically white. And some of the windows are black. Um, the windows around the front by the road of the house, those windows are black. And then the rest around the back are giant uh, windows, all white. And it just gives this beautiful sort of vista view out of the windows. Um, and you can check out those screenshots on the website. You'll see all those sort of views because the screenshots will be in the next episode. Um, so there won't be any in this one, unfortunately, if that's what you if that's what you're hankering for, the screenshots in the video. I don't know why you would be because you can just go check them out now on the website. Links down below. Um, just figuring out where to put the uh, post box and the bin. And I decided 
over where I was trying to put them wasn't a good space. So I moved them over here. Uh, and then I just had to figure out how I wanted the Sims to enter the house, which I'm doing currently. And that also changes as well a little bit. It doesn't change. For, I think that changes sort of midway through furnishing, actually. And this is where I figured out I couldn't put the stairs and I was like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. What, is, what has happened? And I was like, oh, no. And that's when I realized, oh, the level above is the reason they couldn't go there. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I was honestly like face palming at this moment. I was like, oh, God, I built all of this only to find out that I can't actually fit stairs on it. Great. <laughs> I could. Yeah, there you go. That, that was the one stair I could fit in. In that spot there. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <sighs> that wasn't a good moment. But then I'm just like, oh, hang on. I could probably just move the, uh, move all the deck back one square. It just means there's a bit less space on the deck, but it all still works just fine. There's no problems with it. It's just a little bit smaller. And it goes just all right. She goes all right. So there's no problems there. Um, yeah. So chucking in those stairs, nice big section of them. All going in there. Nice. Uh, and I was like, hang on, we should probably get a little bit more deck space out the back here. Um, so I guess a lot of people have been asking, first of all, am I continuing with the Lunar Island? This is probably an answer to that question <laughs> if you hadn't figured that out by 16 minutes in. Yes, of course, I'm still working on it. But the island itself, um, I don't foresee any updates to the island anytime soon because it all seems to be working just fine. It's got plenty of lots, loads of variety in terms of lots. You've got sort of the more flat ones in the center of town. Then you've got all the cliff lots and then there's also the two dive lots. Uh, so there's tons of options there. And then lot showcases. I'll probably do another one of those soon. I've been meaning to. I just haven't gotten around to it because what it, for a lot showcase, it is actually a lot more work than it probably appears to be because obviously I've got to go through. I think how many lots are there now on the on the website? There's a thousand over fifteen hundred at least. Um, let me. Just, I'm just checking that now. Pardon me while I do that. Let me see. Uh, browse public lots. There are currently. Uh, 1,704 houses that you guys have submitted to the website. So basically what that means is I've got to go through these houses and pick out around 10 to 15 of them. Well, usually I pick out more. Usually I pick out about 30. And then from those 30, I whittle it down to about 10 to 15. And then from those 10 to 15, I have to download them, put them in my game. Uh, and if some of them are on the same lot, I've got to get two versions of the world loaded up and put them in. Then I've got to do all the filming and all the narration and, and then editing it all together. It actually takes quite a lot of time. And that's pretty much why I haven't done one recently, but I will be doing it soon. I'll be going through it very shortly. So if you have built any houses for a Luna Island, make sure you submit them on my website. Just go to the Luna Island download page and click share lot up the top. There's a little button that says it and you can share your lot on there. It's pretty simple. I've done, uh, I've done a tutorial tutorial on it here on this channel which i believe is oh that's my phone sorry about that which i believe is not linked from the share lot page that's interesting um i probably should have linked that from there i might i might add that on uh but anyways yeah so make sure you share your lot on there i'll be doing another lot showcase soon uh and then obviously part two of this build will be tomorrow uh, I'm really going to try ramp up the stuff to do with Luna Island. So I'm going to try and get more builds out. At least I want, at least, at the very least, I want to try and get one build a week. Even though that is not going to be enough to get me done by The Sims 4 comes out. That, like, if I did one a week until The Sims 4 comes out, that wouldn't be enough to finish the, the world. So saying at least one a week is uh, not very ambitious, but... I mean, some of these builds do take a long time, so I've got to I've got to be wary of that. And and all, obviously, you can't I can't just keep building day in day out. Um, it takes a lot of a lot of work, a lot of inspiration. And if I don't have the inspiration, then it, the house usually just sucks. Yeah, so obviously putting in all the windows. Uh, but yeah, that's sort of the update on a Lunar Island. Uh, what's coming with that? I'm going to keep working on it. New showcase, uh, all that kind of good stuff. And then obviously the I've got like the five I've got like five let's plays running on this channel right now which all seem to be going great. Uh, we've got the Sims one, Sims one, two, and three, then Sim City and Spore. So it's like five, and I'm trying to at least do one video a day again uh, on those. Um, so those of course will continue. And then I've got uh, on if you some people are asking about. SimCity 4, and I have actually started up a SimCity 4 Let's Play over on my third channel. Yes, I've got three channels, in case you didn't know. Um, 
for the, I mean, this channel and my other channel, my other main channel, because, uh, okay, so <laughs> let me explain this. Sim Supply is one of my channels. Uh, Flabaliki is my other channel. That one's got 55,000 subscribers currently. And I don't really call them either one of them my main channel or my first channel because I really started both of those around the same time in terms of posting vi regular videos. Um, so I wouldn't really call it. Anyways, <laughs> the whole point of that was to say that my third channel, um, the one that sort of was just intended for kind of random videos and vlogs, there's a few live action videos on there. Um, that has a Sim City, Sim City 4 Let's Play on it, or at least I'm starting it. Uh, I've done part one. I intend to do probably record another episode of that very shortly after I record this video, actually. Um, so check that out if you want to. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of an update on the inner workings of the channel. Anyways, the house here that we're doing, I'm trying to choose what I want to do for the interior. This this upper level... Oh, okay, I'm all over the place. Let me wait till I settle. Okay, we're doing the lower level. Um, I had to... Because I wanted all the bedrooms to have windows, of course. I didn't want any of them to be at the back of the house. And it's actually it was actually a very hard uh, space to sort of get right in terms of the floor plan. Uh, because it's... As you can see, the size, there's not much space down there. And I had to fit uh, all the, the bedrooms at the front. And there's also had to be a bathroom for them all. And it kind of, it, it worked out in the end. Uh, the bathroom doesn't end up having any windows just because there's no room for windows in the bathroom. The, that's the bathroom at the back there pretty much is what I've done now. Uh, sort of messing around with it. There you go. That's, I think that's pretty much the layout actually uh, done and dusted. It looks, looks like it took... It was way shorter on in this video, I guess, because it's sped up. Um, but anyways, this this level here is now the main level. That the large room on the left is kitchen dining. Uh, that's the bathroom I'm doing now, and then the right hand side is the living area and the entrance to the house. Um, just chucking in some doors around the joint. Very nice. All good. And then the top level, which I did do before, but we kind of, I was talking about something else at the time, is where the master bedroom is, and all quite nice. Uh, just putting in some by debug lights. I actually do remove all of these later on. Uh, they also, the entrance of the house there, which is, as you can see, is sort of split level at the moment, that completely changes. Like I was saying before, I changed the entrance of the house. And the reason I did that, I mean, it looks kind of cool, but it takes up a ton of space. It, it absolutely butchered the size of the room, and there was really no room for anything in there. So I had to change how the stairs work and put the stairs on the outside and then the inside's all flat, no split leveling. Uh, that's obviously the little boathouse uh, room, the little rec room. And again, I changed all these banisters because and the stairs because they didn't match the house. The house is very much a sort of elegant modern design and that's where I originally had the stairs going uh, to the lower level. Again, that had to change because first of all, it didn't look good, took up too much space and didn't really make much sense. Um, and I guess that's also where I changed the, the lower level floor plan once more after I sort of move everything around. Um, I, I didn't know. I don't know what I was doing here. Trying to get some windows there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, that all changes. I do. I, I think I use, yeah, I use these sort of Island Paradise windows around the, the road uh, side of the house. Just because I think they provide, they're, they're nice big windows, but they also have like a, an element of privacy to them because they're quite frosted. Um and like I said, the, the windows around this side of the house are black and the other side are white just because I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, just sort of doing up the entrance of the house now. Going to get a few shrubs in there, I guess. I was going to put a gate at the front, but then I realized, hang on, you can't put a gate on the edge of a lot. And then I had to move it back. And then there was no gate that actually looked nice. Like they all looked just terrible. and <laughs> They didn't look good. Uh, they looked terrible and they didn't look good. Yes, it's the same thing. Um, but they just didn't match the, match the style. And for some reason... I don't know if anyone else has this, but there was a store item clock, like there was a, an item from the store that was a clock that was in the gate category for some unknown reason. <laughs> I don't know. That was just there for some reason. I was like, hang on, what is this doing in here? Um, just painting all the, the places your sims can't go black because that's just my thing. I like to paint them black so it doesn't sort of, um, I don't know. <laughs> There's no reason to it. I just like it just because it looks like. It's closed off and there's no light there and there shouldn't ever be any light there is my reasoning. Uh, very close to being done on the build, uh, but it appears that... Were one of those videos out of order? Yeah, they totally were. Damn it. I've done that before. Yeah, because we... 
Yeah, okay, so when we did the downstairs floor plan, that was actually after this, and I think in that we'd already moved the stairs. Um, probably be... Oh, damn, I thought I checked the order of the videos. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Doing the landscaping now. I thought we did the landscaping rather quickly. I thought it just happened when I was rambling on about a lunar island and, and all that kind of stuff, but um, there you go. So it was out of order in case you were commenting that, and if you already have commented that, Feel free to edit your comment or remove it because it is currently now irrelevant because I've realized that it uh, was out of order. Um, anyways, so yeah, probably because I named the files like one through, I think I had 15 different videos. So I did like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then 10 is one zero. And for some reason, I think the ordering in Premiere Pro, when you put them in, puts one zero after one, which in the terms of computers kind of makes sense because it's one and then the zero instead of a two. If that, I mean, that, that is a form of ordering, but it's not a very smart one in terms of when I'm naming files because <laughs> it goes out of order. Oh dear. Anyways, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the rest of the video should be completely in order. In theory, I will double check that before I record part two uh, and make sure that's all correct. I was going to put lots of trees out the front here. I decided not. I uh, just did some nice clean hedges, make it look quite nice. And it, this this house, this lot lines up very nicely on the road. I, I when, when I started building on it, I didn't realize, like when I placed this in the world originally, it was kind of just like, yeah, let's chuck that there, it'd be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if it's going to line up the road quite nicely. I don't know if it's going to even support a nice lot, but it actually turned out to be a pretty good lot to sort of just build a cliff house on and uh, worked out really well. It uses that space quite nicely, which otherwise would just be empty space but it allows us to get another lot in there. So that's really cool. Uh, that car there that I've just placed in is what blocks the stairs. Uh, and I fix that later on um, before I upload it. Um, because the car was just, because the fence goes straight up to the parking spot and then the car's there. So in Sims' minds, they can't get past it. And here's where we changed the stairs, I believe. Um, before, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying before. I was trying to figure out the best place to put them because currently I'm like, hang on, this takes up so much space of the house. Um, and we have to have stairs going up and we have to have stairs going down as well. And I was trying to figure out where in the world can I put those because there's no space in the house. And I was like, yeah, let's put them there. Hang on. That makes no sense. Cause that's in the middle of the house. <laughs> and it completely. And look, if you, if I kept that entrance and those stair placements, there's no room for a living room. That whole area just becomes a giant hallway and it just uh, it made no sense. It made no sense, but I fix it. Of course. <laughs> and it makes sense later on. Do not worry, my furry-headed little friends. Unless you're bald, in which case, do not worry, my waxy head little friends. Uh, what am I doing now? Coloring the dock area. I put some floor tiles underneath where the boat's parked just so I could color it like a concrete or something. So it looks like it's more of a structure-based area. And I guess that's probably where I realized I couldn't fit stairs in there. Indeed it is. So I had to chuck them in the side. Um... But yeah, just chucking them in there. For some reason, that was a little bit... The stairs are sort of glitching in the terrain there. I don't know what's going on. What, what is happening right now, anyways? I'm trying to get the stairs to place the knot for some reason. There they go. Uh, but this video is pretty much over now. That concludes the build of the house. Next episode will be... Or the next part. And the final part, part two, will be out tomorrow. And that will be all of the furnishing and the screenshots at the end. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.